All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to do your own bookkeeping in Excel using pivot tables. So what I've done here is I've gone to my bank's website. I've gone to my business checking account and I downloaded my bank statement. Um, it'll give you a few options of what file you want. Um, make it a CSV file, a comma separated value. So go, yeah, all you got to do, go to your bank's website. Get to your business checking account, download the bank statement as a CSV. And then you go into Excel, click File, File, Open, and then pick that bank statement file and it'll pop into Excel just like this. And it seems a little intimidating at first, but we're not going to be using all these columns, don't worry. Um, the first thing you should do after that is copy the whole thing. Copy the whole thing, come on now. Copy the whole thing over. Control C, Command C, and then copy it to a new one. Uh, that way, in case you ever need to get back to the raw data, um, it's just right there. So just copy into a new sheet. Um, I called mine working data. Yeah, now let's get started into formatting this proper so that we can make a little income statement from a pivot table. So first of all, like I said, we don't need most of these columns. So if you right click um, up here, just press delete. We don't need the transaction number. We do need the posting date. We don't need the effective date. Don't need that. We definitely need the amount. Don't need the check number. Don't need the reference number. Definitely need the description. That's what it's all about. Don't need transaction type. Don't need type. Don't need the balance. Don't need the memo. Don't need extended description either. And then what you can do, see all this is all kind of jammed. If you double click right here, it'll auto format for you. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all this over to the right. So just select all of it. And then on the green line, just drag it over one. And then we can reformat so it fits. Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to make our own reference number. Just, you know, one, two, three, oop, three. And then if you highlight those and pull this little green box in the corner down, it'll add the rest of them up for you. And that way, you know, as we're manipulating the data, for some reason you just need to get back to the original order quick way to do it um, the other thing we're going to do is we are going to add an account column and that's the column that we're going to use to match uh, these transactions to um, in that deductions video how there was advertising or office supplies dues and subscriptions that's where those come in that's where you know we're going to start matching these transactions to what account or what deduction they go to. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the amount column and we're going to move this to the end. We want that right there. You can go ahead and delete that. Okay, now we are all formatted. Well, almost. I also like to change the number format of the amount to the accounting. Looks a lot cleaner. And if you don't know in accounting terms, the parentheses mean money out or a negative. Then from there, we're actually gonna sort by amount. Also, if you click up here, it'll highlight all of it. We're gonna go right up here to sort and filter. We're gonna click this button and we wanna sort from amount from smallest to largest. And what that's gonna do for us is it's gonna put all of our items of income, all of our deposits, um, if you have checks, um, they'll show up right here. Uh, makes it really easy to start reconciling. Um, for me, this is my bookkeeping business, so this is all bookkeeping income. And like I said earlier, you can drag it down and it'll copy on down. Pretty sweet. I um, mean, you could also call that sales or income or whatever. If your business, you know, if you want to track uh, the different ways you make money, maybe it's this income and that income but 
anyway now up here Google ad that would fit under advertising as well as the one right below it which is Facebook ad and then right here I bought a course up of Gumroad so we could put that in coaching and education and then the rest of it is some Weebly charges which is website related and zero which is my accounting software so that if I could spell is all dues and subscriptions and then we can just click that drag it on down boom now I have categorized each of my transactions for the month of January so now what I can do is make a pivot table which is basically you know a little makeshift income statement so what you want to do is you want to highlight the amount and the account columns the header included you have to include the amount and the account and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to insert pivot table I want to keep it on the same worksheet we'll just select this right over here okay and then from here in the field name we just need to click the amount in the account and boom there it is so basically what's happened is this gives us a snapshot so instead of you know seeing these two different lines 200 100 it's put them together and we can see the total amount that I spent on advertising for the month of January so about $300 um, same with the income you know instead of these four boom it's all right there quick snapshot 900 bucks um, and so on and so forth with the coaching and the dues and subscriptions and then right there grand total um, my income after my expenses I made 468 bucks not too bad um, if you just wanted to see maybe just your income you could unselect those it shows you right there if you want maybe all your expenses right there negative 400 so pretty sweet you can get a quick snapshot of how your business did that month pretty quickly I mean that only took me I don't know five minutes um, and as you get better at it and you um, understand how to format it so that you can do it pretty quickly you know give you a good nice little snapshot of how your business is doing um, pretty accurate and then it's easier for you to make decisions and at the end of the year your tax person will love you. Um, so there you go. That is how to do bookkeeping with pivot tables in Excel.